What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome back to another episode now of Subscriber Analysis. The Subscriber Analysis I did last week and uploaded did smash over 230 likes, so thank you ever so much for that. If this episode could do exactly the same, that would be super awesome. As you can see then, if you look at the top left of the screen, Club Dimitri, uh, you may recognise the name, Mitchy, who sent me this squad um, on Twitter. He was the guy that actually um, beat KSI in the pink slips and... Um, got the whole squad of him. I'm sure you have all seen that video where um, KSI did challenge a follower to play um, and if he lost he would give the guy the his whole ultimate team and it was like the best team he could ever have. I believe this was on, it was on the end of FIFA L FIFA 12 um, and this is the guy's squad um, he it's the same guy basically and this is his squad he has sent me for subscriber analysis and I really did like it so I picked it out to do a subscriber analysis on now as you can see uh, the first things you will see is is got four nationalities and three leagues in the squad the leagues that consist of the Belgium League the Brazilian League and the Italian League and the nationalities as you can all see for yourselves include the Brazili Brazilians uh, Nigerians Swedish players and then Dutch players also well one Dutch player um, the only thing I'm going to say about this, their names are extremely hard to pronounce. I was on Skype to Calfreezy and we were trying to pronounce them correctly. And I'm pretty sure we both got them horribly wrong. So if I do get a pronunciation of a name in this squad um, wrong, then I do apologise. But nonetheless, I'm going to try and do my best because that is all I can do for you guys. So as you can see then, we have the two Nigerian players. Uh, both of them are Nigerian, the two strikers from the Pro League, the Belgian Pro League. And then first of all, we've got Ezekiel, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, he has a nice looking stats there as you can see 92 pace Ezekiel there he's a uh, 67 rated overall and his partner in crime I will say 67 rated also next to him Mbakugu I, guess, I think that's how you pronounce it um, also got 90 pace so this team as you can see straight away does have a lot of pace up front which is always good to have um, in every single squad that people are saying that um, pace isn't too much of a factor in FIFA 13 however uh, I did think that when I first started playing it but now we have been playing it for quite a while I've come to realise it is still exactly the same as it is in FIFA 12. If you've got pace in your team, you're inevitably going to be doing well online. So they are the two strikers. Um, next to them, uh, behind them then, we do have the two centre attacking mid players, obviously, because we are playing the 4-2-2-2 formation, um, even though the name of the squad is 4-3-2-1. Uh, but nonetheless, then on the right-hand side, we do have the 21-year-old Brazilian Jorginho. Um, and again, looking at that, he's got some nice, nice stats there. He's got 70 passing, 77 dribbling, which is quite high for a silver player and 84 pace um, so he does have a lot of a lot of talent on the right hand side of that pitch and then the second center attacking mid is also um, the 20 year old Brazilian and his name is Fernando Canisin I think that's how it's pronounced again he's got some nice stats for a silver player as you can see every single player in this squad is silver but that's just me stating the inevitable um, stating the obvious sorry um, and then behind them obviously playing the same formation as I've just said 4-2-2-2-2 we do have the two center defensive mid players um, here we have Mbentha um, from the Pro League and then next Next to him, we do have William Farias, uh, two centre defensive mids, one 67 and one is 65, uh, one is Brazilian and one is whatever nationality that is, and I am going to check because I am interested, um, and he is from DR Congo, I didn't know that badge looked like that, so moving on to the defence then, we have obviously the four defenders at the back, two of them are Brazilian and then two of them are Swedish, um, I will start with the Brazilians, so on the right hand side then we have got Gabriel from Gramero, I believe that squad's Gramero, I'm going to have to check again because I know if I get anything wrong in this video people are going to hate course it is I've got that one right for once he's 66 rated um, overall but again 61 heading 67 defending and 65 dribbling with 66 passing so he is pretty solid at the right back again this team does have a lot of skill as well but I'm not going to go into what rated skill each player is because that would take way too long then we've got a canoe then the 71 rated Brazilian center back from the pro league again um, again some nice looking stats 80 pace for a center uh, center back uh, being at silver is extremely good to have um, and then two Swedish players we have at the left back and the centre back the first one we have here um, we do have Elmbach I think that's how it's pronounced it's not back it's batch um, and then finally next to him we've got Safari a nice easy name to pronounce and again um, he does have 89 pace which is a lot of pace for a silver and especially being a left back so that is good to have and then finally the final player we do have in this starting at 11 is Pat from Gent which is the Dutch league um, so that is a nice score 
squad. I did like it. Obviously, it does only have 99 chemistry, but if you did throw in a manager there, that would obviously give it the 100 chemistry. It is only 3 out of 5 stars, so you're not going to be coming up against all sort of these sweaty Premier League uh, BBVA squads, which are extremely overused on Ultimate Team at the moment. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the bench, but as you can see, he's got quite a nice bench here, especially with those two bronze players. Uh, a right winger with 85 pace is extremely good pace for a uh, bronze player and then we've got Fang Fagner here uh, the Brazilian centre forward so there's a lot of Brazilian players in here with the two Nigerians up front and the two Swedish players at left back so this squad I really do like it and that is why I chose it for the subscriber analysis if you did choose, if you did enjoy this video, I beg your pardon, then please do leave a like rating. It is extremely appreciated. If we could get over 200 likes again, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, please do check out his channel and Twitter. I'll link both of them for him in the description of this video. Check them out. They'll be below. And until my next video, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.